Hello everyone, welcome to Mark Bank. Let us solve some more problems in the alphanumeric series that we did in the previous video. We solved two questions. Now the rest of the three questions we are going to solve in this video. So the question is asking you how many such symbols are there in the above arrangement each of which is immediately preceded by a letter and followed by a number. So we need to find out we need to find out a symbol that is immediately preceded by a letter and followed by followed by a number. So let us do it. So let us see all the symbols are this is the symbol, this is the symbol, this is the symbol, so forth and so on. So let us observe them separately. We have to have this must be preceded by a letter that is there, but it must be followed by a number. So this is not our uh, option. How about percentage mark? The percentage mark is being preceded by E and followed by M. That is also not the case because M should be the number if it has to be the case. At the rate is being preceded by U and followed by H. Hence, it is also not the case. How about this mark? This is being preceded by 2 and followed by 9. Both of them are numbers. Hence, this is also not the case. How about this asterisk? Is being preceded by a number and followed by a letter. That is the reverse case of what we are looking for. What are we looking for is an, a symbol should be preceded by a letter and followed by a number. But that is not the case over here as well. How about this? This is being preceded by P and followed by K. Both of them are alphabets and hence not the case. How about dollar mark? Is being preceded by 7 and followed by Y. That is a letter or alphabet. That is also not the case. Since the question is how many such symbols are there in the above arrangement? each of which is immediately preceded by a letter and followed by a number since there is no such symbol we know what is our option that is a let us move ahead with another problem now in the same alphanumeric series the problem is how many such consonants are there in the above arrangement each of which is immediately preceded by a consonant so we have got we need to have consonants that must be preceded by consonants and followed by a number that must be followed by a number so let us start looking at this b cannot be the answer how about R? R is being preceded by A and followed by 5. But R is not a consonant. It is a vowel. Hence R is also not the case. How about E? E is being preceded by... So E cannot be the option you see because we are looking for consonants only. How about M? M is being preceded by percentage mark that is not the consonant so this is also not the case how about f f is being preceded by m that is a consonant and is immediately followed by 4 that is a number so so f is one of those alphabets or consonants that follows the pattern that we are looking for. How about J? J you see that it's preceded by 4 followed by 1 not the option. 
U we cannot even talk about because it is a wall. H is being preceded by a symbol followed by a number, hence H is also not the case. How about T? Followed by I but preceded by 9. Just it's, it is also not the case since this is not what we are looking for. W is being preceded by asterisk and followed by 3. We should also not be taking this. How about P? P should immediately be preceded by 3. I mean by consonant. That is not the case as P is being preceded by 3. That is a number. How about K? No. And Y? So we have got only one case where we, this is M, F, 4. M is being preceded by F is being preceded by M and is followed by 4. Both of, both of them are fulfilling the case that we are looking for. So, what is the answer? B should be the answer. Let us solve one more problem. It says that if all the numbers in the above arrangement are dropped, which of the following will be the 11th from the right end? So, this is our right end. Since the numbers are dropped, this is going to be the first, second, this is going to be the third, fourth, you see, this is fifth, sixth, asterisk is seven, eighth, ninth, this is tenth, and H is going to be the eleventh. One from the right hand side. What is the answer? H is the answer. So in these kind of problems, one should be very very much efficient just to look at the computer screen without even writing this on your rough copy. Can you do it then and there? It's a major challenge. If you can overcome this, if you can solve this problem without writing on your rough page because actually this alphanumeric series does not make any sense. So every time you will have to look at the computer screen to write it down and it is going to take a healthy 20-30 seconds. Hence it is always advisable that you look at your computer screen and try to solve the problem then and there. I hope this is going to make some sense to you. Just practice alphanumeric series in a way that we have done. Have three things very clear. The, what is the right hand? What is the left hand? What is the meaning of being preceded? What is the meaning of being followed? And so forth and so on. And you will be able to do it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in some other video. Till then, bye bye and take care.